Hello listeners, this is the part 2 of our discourse on fluvial systems and channel fields. We will be talking more on meandering systems as well as the different parts of a channel field uh, for meandering systems in this discourse. A meandering river is a river flowing in curved pathway over gently sloping landscape. The feature more in mid-stage of a river cycle and that's typically where you have uh, erosion and deposition. Uh, in terms of characteristics, there are two key bends in the flow direction of meandering rivers, the outer bend and the inner bend. And if you take a look at the uh, a profile through a meandering system, uh, it's generally asymmetrical. Now let's look at some terminologies for meandering system. Now, uh, a substrate is a rock formation underlying the material or underlying the channel. The talveg is the line of lowest elevation or the thickest uh, channel field in the channel course. The inner bank uh, is where you have um, a dominantly deposition um, uh, along the channel uh, pathway. And in the outer bank, you have dominance of erosion uh, due to high flow velocity. Now, along this path, for example, the inner bank will be uh, along this area or just somewhere here where, where the point bar develops. That's called the inner bank. And the outer bank is right um, opposite it. That's where you have um, erosion. So if you follow this blue line, that's the, if you, if you imagine that this is where you have the maximum uh, velocity or the pathway that the particular uh, substance will follow if it's been transported along this pathway. So you notice that at the outer bank, this goes right here and hits parts of the outer bank or almost hits it. So that's areas where you have um, lots of deposition, um, lots of erosion because this is where you have the maximum velocity. Uh, and then in this area where you have the, the uh, point bar building out, you're going to have a reduction in velocity. So everything around here is dominantly uh, being deposited, but on this other side is constantly being eroded by the incident um, um, flow, uh, flow flowing um, system. Now, one thing to notice again is in terms of uh, uh, angle or gradients, the inner bank, which is in this area, has a lower uh, gradient, and uh, on the other hand, the outer bank is quite steep. So this is still on the channel uh, profile. Um, we had mentioned earlier on that the reduction in velocity and this where you have the inner bank is actually what causes the deposition of you know, sediments at that bend and that creates what is called the point bar. So if you look at surrounding areas uh, for these systems, uh, for meandering systems, uh, we have a levee. A levee is more like a little uh, ridge or a bit of embankment uh, of deposits that helps prevent overflow uh, um, of, of the contents of the field, in this case water, outside the channel. So if I have this little uh, mass of sediments, you know, kind of acting as a barrier, so whatever I have within the system will be unable to flow out. So this level is actually a natural ridge for everything within the channel fill. The floodplain uh, is the low lying area outside the channel um, fairway. Uh, so generally that's where you have, um, you know, vegetation and every every you know any time the the channel uh, is overflown or overflows its bank um, this floodplain is going to be of course that's why it's flooded it's going to be flooded because it's quite low line and just very close to the channel uh, there are some times where um, in those areas you know where you have the cut bank uh, sometimes the levee there is unable to hold or unable to keep uh, the content of the channel in place so there's some kind of um, um, a break or a rupture so when that happens 
part of what is supposed to be, um, you know, maintained within the channel pathway overflows the, the, the levy or the bank of that, that system and gets deposited outside the main uh, fairway. And that's called, uh, these are called crevice play or crevice uh, deposits. So now on to um, other definition. So within the channel, uh, you know, field, there are three main, well, in this case, three main components. The lag deposits, which are typically coarse and pebbly. The main field, uh, which uh, in, in some case, you see evidence of, um, you know, cross bedding due to lateral migration or lateral accretion of the deposits within uh, the, the channel uh, fairway. And uh, the mud plug, which are typically uh, late stage, um, you know, deposits, very fine muddy units, signifying some form of abandonment of that uh, of deposition or some kind of cessation of deposition of sediments uh, in that uh, channel fairway. Now, lateral accretion packages are generally uh, inclined strata uh, deposited during outbuilding of sediments <clears throat> on the point bar. So along this along this um, line we have cross beds and this is suggesting that there's movement in this direction and also in this direction um, just orthogonal to the inner bank so in this section we have the basal uh, channel lag deposits which are dominantly pebbly uh, poorly sorted uh, we have the main sand field, which uh, sometimes bioturbated with cross beds uh, and they're all you know, sometimes fairly well sorted. And the late stage uh, or abandonment uh, fascists, which in this case are usually uh, low nets or muddy. So if I um, take a look at this, if you take a look at this area, so what, what we see is that what was originally a cleaver a crevice play uh, part of the system sometimes the system becomes what was originally a small opening becomes fully developed and the channel preferentially you know passes its sediments through that new pathway so this section becomes abandoned this section becomes a new uh, pathway so this point where that happened or this section where that happens is called the avulsion area or the point of avulsion. Now, if I put a well on this uh, section uh, through from the, you know, from the top to the bottom, what I'm going to see in the log is going to look like this. So at the bottom part of it, if, if everything uh, is as captured, the bottom part of it will have lots, lots of, um, you know, poorly sorted pebbly materials. Uh, which, like I said earlier, are called lag deposits. And then the, the middle section will have more of um, fine to medium sandstone, cross bedded, bioturbated, and um, with some all kinds of sedimentary structures. And the, the upper part of it will be more muddy, uh, sometimes with um, rootlets or vegetation. And uh, these, these are just, you know, a typical signature for, you know, a bottom loaded uh, fluvial uh, channel uh, complex. So that's all we have for now. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Please do not hesitate to ask your questions or, you know, send your comments. Uh, and uh, we'll appreciate if you follow us on YouTube and, and Facebook. And uh, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.